the previous class we had discussed about uh, success approximate A to D converter. Before that we had discussed uh, dual slope A to D converter uh, and its applications. Uh, so, uh, we had shown also how to apply the A to D converter with respect to solar cell. So, today we discuss about first DTA converter and then we again get back to other uh, A to D converters. So, we discuss about uh, uh, DTA converter, digital to analog converter. Digital, uh, so we call DAC. Uh, there are two types of uh, digital to analog converter that is when a digital uh, word is given and we want uh, uh, equivalent uh, analog output. So, general block diagram would be that we have a uh, uh, digital input are given for example, 4 bit converter, 4 bit converter we have LSB here, MSB here that the input uh, zeros and 1s and uh, DTA converter and this has the reference voltage V reference and then we get uh, analog output uh, V output analog. So, this is the general block diagram for DTA converter. So, essentially that uh, uh, analog voltage uh, analog voltage analog output analog output actually uh, uh, nothing but uh, V reference voltage V reference into uh, uh, digital wave actually. So, we for example, we have uh, all bits are 1 in this case it is a 4 bit converter. So, we have a uh, number of bits high that is a binary value binary value divided by 2 power uh, n. Uh, for example, if it is a 4 bit converter, then it is a 1 volt V reference equal to say 1 volt and uh, N is equal to 4, 4 bit converter. Then uh, analog output V0 would be equal to 1 volt into uh, 2 power uh, 4 that is actually uh, uh, in, into uh, binary value. So, that will be 1 by 16 into for example, if 1 LSP alone on uh, say uh, if we have a logic 0 0 0 1 uh, for this then the binary value is 1 then you have 1 by 16th of a volt. Similarly, for example, if all bits are high for 1 1 1 1 then V 0 would be uh, this is for uh, this actually. So, then V 0 would be 1 volt divided by uh, uh, 16 into 1 by uh, will be 15. So, 15 by 16 volt will be the output. So, this is what the A to D, DTA converter is doing. So, we will have uh, again uh, the output voltage depends upon the V reference and then the number of bits that uh, we are using for uh, digital input. Now, having seen the general uh, uh, working of DTA converter, let us see uh, you know, the types involved and then closely see how they are uh, working. There are two types of uh, DTA converter, two uh, types, two types of uh, DTA converter. One is actually binary uh, weighted weighted DAC. The second one is R to R network based DAC. There are two types of uh, DACs are available. Now, we see uh, first one. So, binary uh, based. So, the first binary based DAC binary based DAC now, in this case what actually done is we have a resistance and then assume that we have a switch here that switch actually can connect either to this or to 
uh, this is connected to uh, ground then R it can connect to this one same way we can have uh, for example, I take 4 bit converter. So, in the 4 bit DTA we have example 3 bit and fourth bit I put it here. Uh, so, assume this is a digital word that is operating the switch it also can go to ground. So, you have MSP here a uh, least significant bit is uh, here. Now, this output for example, I connect to the op amp then I put a resistance here and that act as a output. This resistance what we do is we take R then uh, 2 R 4 R 8 R. So, uh, now uh, these resistors are actually you now uh, binary weighted for example, if this 1 k I make this one 2 k and this is 4 k and then this one uh, 8 k and this resistance can be uh, any amount there is no problem uh, this is R x. So, what happens is when uh, MSP uh, is high M, uh, when MSP is 1 and uh, all others are 0, it is a 0 that is we have a condition for uh, 1000 0 input, input is 1000 0 0, then we call that is S1, S2, S3, S4, then S1 on then S2, S3, S4 off. then this actually given to uh, V reference is given to V reference then then uh, S 1 on S 1 uh, this is off position uh, on position on position connected to connected to uh, up amp this all connected to ground all connected to ground connected to ground then uh, current to the current to the minus input then current current i current i to the uh, inverting terminal inverting input of op amp uh, is v reference by r plus uh, plus 0 second stage third stage 0 third stage 0 the other currents are actually connected to ground. Similarly, we can also show that if for a for 1 by for for 1 1 1 for digital input for a digital input for digital uh, for digital digital input. 1 then uh, I would be V r by r plus V r by 2 r plus V r by 4 r plus V r by 8 r. Uh, so, like that we can have depending upon the digital uh, input which uh, whichever digital input is high then you will have the current output then the final output voltage at the output of the op amp because we have used uh, the summing amplifier uh, 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 
Apa is summing all fair. So, all the current whatever is coming uh, is actually passed through the resistance R x. So, you have I here coming here uh, that is the output voltage that is equal to R x into I with the minus uh, input. Uh, so, the uh, depending upon the digital value you will have a analog output. This is a general purpose uh, uh, binary weighted A to D converter uh, DTA converter. Uh, however, this converter has a problem uh, in the sense that uh, we have to have uh, uh, 4 accurately uh, calibrated resistors are required. For example, if I have 1 K then 2 K, 4 K, 8 K and each resistor should be accurate to uh, uh, 2 power uh, uh, 4 in this case there is only in 16 accuracy is demanded. Suppose if I go for 8 bit converter then for 8 bit converter for uh, 8 bit converter we need 8 resistors that is uh, we need actually uh, the same uh, we need the same 8 resistors if you look at this uh, 8 resistors the accuracy demanded automatically goes high because we connect uh, Okay, we connect join all of them. We join all of them and then so we will have for example 1 K, 2 K, 4 K, that will be 8 K, 16 K, 32 K, 64 K, 128 K and then this is the output current. Uh, that is a digital word switching each one uh, separately. Now, the problem here is that I had have if I take this uh, uh, accuracy requirement I need this is a 2 power uh, 8 that is 1 in 256 1 in 2 power 8 accuracy accuracy required required for all the 8 resistors. 8 uh, resistors. So, that will uh, amount to getting uh, 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 that includes temperature trip to against the temperature also the accuracy should be maintained that is quite difficult for example, in the, uh, quickly even for 8 bit converter we need 0 0.4 accurate 0 0.4 percent accuracy resistors against temperature ag uh, against uh, manufacturing uh, uh, tolerance. So, that is a difficult thing to get particularly for example, if I go for 16 bit converter then accuracy goes only in uh, 2 power 16 and that is uh, definitely not achievable uh, with the production constraints that we have. So, this uh, binary weight uh, weighted R, R to uh, DTA converter is not uh, very popular because of uh, this reason. So, the other ATD converter is actually R to R network. So, uh, the so in binary binary weighted resistors resistors resistor based based uh, DAC uh, accuracy requirement accuracy requirement requirement for resistors, resistors, uh, this is a difficult, a difficult to achieve. Particularly for higher, particularly for uh, high, high bit converted tax. So, this is the main drawback of this. So, that is why we have R to R network based DTA converters. So, we see how the R to R network based DTA converters are uh, uh, working. So, we will take R to R uh, network based 
based directly. So, to avoid so many registers, uh, uh, you know, to avoid putting so many registers of uh, uh, required accuracy, we can have only two registers fabricated in R2R network with the required accuracy, and one can easily achieve the uh, required function uh, with the lower cost. Let us say R2R network is very popular, and in fact, most of the converters are actually R2R network based DTA converters only. So, we see how this uh, basic technique works here. In this case, what is done is we can uh, we will understand R2R network first, R2R uh, network. In R2R network, what is done is we can, for example, we can have a uh, I can have R and 2R and I can have a reference here, V reference. Then I can have another R and then 2R. Then I can have and lastly on 2R. For example, here I have uh, R, then 2R and then 2R. Assume that in this uh, network we have here 1 volt. Now, if I have 1 volt at the input, then if I look at the nodes, you know, node 1 and then node 2, then node 3, then node 4. Now, we start from uh, node 4, uh, uh, we take node 4. Now, here what happens? Uh, the equivalent traces of this becomes actually uh, uh, you know I can draw this. So, you have R 2 R uh, that you have R 2 R that is actually 1 that is 2 then I can have uh, 3. Then the fourth node can be simplified as R and R and R that is actually the fourth node. Now, if I simplify this, then uh, uh, the next uh, uh, circuit would be I can have a uh, simplified model of this. So, you have R here 2 R, R 2 R. Now, if I simplify this, you can have uh, next uh, that is uh, say that is uh, simplify up to node 3. So, this is up to node 4. So, I have simplify up to node 3 now. You have R here 2 R then I can make this R to R. Third one I can show this is R and then I can write it as uh, R. This is node 3 because if you see this, this 2 constitute to 2 R and that parallel to 2 R that makes it uh, R. So, you have R uh, to R this is node 1 and this is node 2 and that becomes a uh, node 3. So, this again you simplify for example, at node 2 it actually becomes uh, much simpler. So, you have R and 2 R then I have R and again R that is node 2 that is node 1. Then if I simplify to node 1 then it actually becomes R and uh, R. that is node 1. So, uh, if you carefully see that uh, always we are getting uh, simplified node uh, of uh, uh, R and R. So, if I look at the uh, uh, circuit from 4, then if I look at the voltage at each node, now voltage at uh, node 1 will be uh, if it is 1 volt that is 0 0.5 volt, 5 volt that is a V reference by 2. If I look at uh, node 2, then if I uh, this voltage is actually uh, uh, 0.5 and 0.5 again divided by uh, uh, factor of 2. So, this will be uh, voltage at this point will be 0 0.25 or it is equal to V R by 4. And then similarly node 3 will come as 0 0.25 uh, V R by 8 and then we will get voltage at node 4 as V R by 16. Now, uh, if you see this, this is a very interesting property that at any given point if I see uh, uh, at this point, 
then the total resistance uh, on to my right and on to my uh, left are equal if this side if I see it is having a resistance r if I see this side the total resistance will be r uh, that is true for at any point you know if we can see uh, even here uh, voltage uh, if I look at this point then effective resistance from this point would be actually uh, r. Uh, so, uh, then uh, if I look at this point then you will have r here. Uh, so, if we keep this one that is at no, node 2 you will have effective resistance r then node 3 also effective resistance r. So, that is why we landed up having uh, the binary divided voltage. So, without having too many binary divided resistors we are able to get binary divided voltage uh, with using only two different resistors r to r. Of course, the accuracy here also to be maintained to the uh, uh, 2 power n bit. But nevertheless, we had to fabricate only two different resistors rather than having uh, n different resistors. So, you know, one can get one can get a binary weighted voltage, binary weighted voltage using only two different resistors. this is r and 2 r. So, this is easier to fabricate r uh, only two resistors with high accuracy uh, that is why this kind of type of converter is uh, very popular. Now, let us see how the converter is uh, uh, fabricated using uh, this r 2 r technique. So, here what is done is that you have the resistors uh, r 2 r is put then you had a uh, 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 the same uh, summing amplifier we can have this then we can have the next uh, this is r and then 2 r this is r and then we have a next uh, bit can activate this then third bit and then the fourth bit. So, this is MSP 1, 2, 3, 4 and the last one 2 R. So, this is 2 R and then R and then 2 R r here 2 r. Here this is connected to V reference and the output is taken here V 0 output is taken from here. Now, if you see the this are all grounded. So, that is S 1 I will put it as S 1 S 2 S 3 S 4. So, the condition would be like this for a digital input of say 1 1 1 for a digital input 1 1 1 then a condition would be S 1 uh, S 2 S 3 S 4 all delivering current to current to uh, inverting input of op amp, inverting input of op amp. For example, the, on the other condition if I take uh, for uh, 0 0 0 uh, digital input, that is uh, for digital input 0 0 0 we will have S 1 comma S 2 S 3 S 4 all grounded grounded that is 0 current to 0 current to up amp. Then 
zero current to uh, op amp. Uh, in between de depending on uh, that is whenever it is 1 they are delivering current to op amp if the digital weight is 0 it is not it is delivering the current to uh, ground. So, for uh, uh, digital input of 1 input 1 the current is delivered to op amp current is delivered to deliver to op amp by the corresponding resistor by the corresponding for digital input input uh, 0 current is current from the corresponding resistor is grounded. Since, since the world, if you look at the current uh, through the each one, so the voltage this will be uh, V r by 2 and this will be V r by 4 and this is uh, V r by 8 and this is V r by 16 in the case of uh, So, the current through this would be when it is on then the current through this will be V r by 4 then current from here comes V r by 8 because we have V r by uh, 2 here and V r by 4 here V r by 8 and then this will be V r by 16 uh, this will be V r by uh, 32. So, that way the current is binary weighted and then you will get output voltage corresponding to the uh, digital uh, weight. So, this is the most popular uh, DTA converter because this needs only uh, two different resistors which is uh, repeated uh, depending on the requirement of number of bits. Uh, of course, the accuracy uh, uh, maintaining the accuracy in two resistors is much more easier that is why uh, this is uh, uh, popular. So, the uh, normally the practical converters which use this have uh, the following arrangement that is what they do is they will have uh, these resistors are to our network resistors. Uh, they have a resist uh, switch here which actually switch this current also uh, taken out. So, we have the other uh, uh, the current is either uh, steer to plus uh, or uh, it is steer to uh, other terminal one of them you know the current flowing through this resistor. For example, I can have the current that is coming here can be combined here and then the fourth bit whatever is there that current also can be added here. For example, this is 2 R, 2 R, R, 2 R, you have R, 2 R, then you have here R and then the V reference is connected here and then we have R resistance here, 2 R resistance here. So, we have the two output currents that is coming here uh, that one we call I and another one is I bar because if all of them are 1, uh, I will be for uh, uh, 1, 1, 1, 1 the I would be equal to uh, uh, V by V reference V we take V by uh, 4 plus V by 8 plus V by 16 plus V by 32 and I bar will be equal to 0. For 0, 0, 0 uh, I would be equal to 0 and then I bar would be equal to uh, V by 4, uh, V by 4 R actually. V by 4 R 
plus V by 8 R plus V by 16 R plus V by 32 R. So, uh, these two currents can be placed uh, uh, correspondingly to uh, convert the uh, current into voltage. So, normally what is done is this uh, DT converters, they saw uh, the DT converter in the following manner, we have the DT converter and then the two output currents I and I bar are given out. Then the analog input voltage is uh, given to this and then the digital word uh, uh, generally the digital word actually we can have digital inputs uh, given to this. So, you have MSB and then uh, LSB and DTA converter is coming. If you want the output current then I can have I can have this which gives me the voltage so which is equal to V0 into I. I can scale the sorry uh, I, I into R naught I into R naught in this case uh, V0 would be equal to I into R naught. We can also use the uh, minus input and uh, we can see the various applications how uh, the minus input will be useful. There are uh, uh, applications where we use both plus and minus, there are applications where we use only minus and invariably plus is uh, utilized. Here the output voltage is actually minus and it can also be made the A to D converter with the current sinking that is uh, also another popular A to D converters which is available. So, we will have the another type which is available would be uh, we have a uh, V reference given here and then we have a digital input So, you have a DTA converter where the current would be uh, going in uh, I and I bar and then the output voltage can be obtained now in a positive uh, output voltage will be positive. So, V0 would be equal to I into R. So, uh, remember my uh, if you are using plus then minus uh, I bar minus must be grounded uh, 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 both the both I and I bar I bar must see must see must see always always ground potential. must see ground potential. Then only the converter uh, will work properly. That is why in this case we had used a summing amplifier and then this I is actually at ground potential, I bar also connected to the ground. So, both the types of uh, DT converters are available and one can use this and then R can be suitably selected to scale the uh, output. So, uh, this is how the DT converter is used. And then there is another uh, DTA converter that we are already uh, discussed that is PWM based, uh, uh, PWM based DTA converter. This is uh, used extensively in microcontroller applications. For example, if you have a, a microcontroller, then when the output is connected to uh, PWM. For example, if I have a port P 0 0.1, then uh, uh, this output can be converted into V 0 by suitably by uh, 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 by filter, uh, filtering the pulse width, the pulse width must be proportional to the uh, digital word, uh, pulse width, pulse width. must be uh, proportional 
proportional to uh, proportional to digital weight. Then the output voltage will truly represent the uh, 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 digital value. However, this has errors because uh, this output 5 volt, the 5 volt can may not be exactly 5 volt due to the error in the switches. So, this the output, the output may not be may not be uh, accurate, accurate because because and the supply voltage because one supply voltage error supply voltage may not be uh, 5 volt and the second problem is switches may not be accurate switches may not be accurate There is a voltage drop on the switches. There is voltage drop. Voltage. Uh, voltage loss in the switches. Switches may be may be considerable. So uh, because of this, this. Uh, uh, not be One way of improving this would be can have uh, switches connected with the PWM output. We have a microcontroller and then uh, plus 5 volt. The PWM output output can be uh, suitably scaled using the uh, uh, fed switches at the output. For example, we can have a uh, fed switches. And this can be connected to a V reference, which may be say 1 volt, and uh, this uh, can have uh, 5 volt logic. So, the small signal fits uh, switch on with even 3 volt difference. So, when it is on, this you will have 1 volt, and then uh, this can be filtered with RC, and then we can have another switch here to have. Connected to another port pin, which has a, uh, a reverse PWM. That is when this is uh, one, this is zero, and vice versa. When this is one, that is zero, and so on. And uh, this kind of uh, switches will eliminate the problem uh, due to the power supply drift and the on reasons. These uh, switches can be. Uh, Low, very low on resistance switches, so that there is uh, uh, no error due to the switch that the resistance R can be selected much much larger than on resistance of the switch, uh, on resistance of the switch must be on resistance of the switch must be very small. compared to R. So, this is a uh, important condition that is required for this to operate uh, properly. So, one can compute the error uh, and then find for 8 bit level of accuracy is more than enough, but the nevertheless it is a very slow A to D converter, D to A converter it is very slow, it is a, it is a uh, very slow DAC. That is the main disadvantage of uh, this because you only have to wait for so much time for averaging to take place. Uh, so, the uh, response is very slow. So, uh, some applications where the speed is not a criteria, this is a good choice because it is a very simple, uh, however, it is a very simple uh, uh, DTA kind of. It is a very simple, very simple uh, cost effective cost effective effective DAC uh, for microcontroller environment, microcontroller uh, systems. So, we have seen uh, basically three different types of uh, 
DT converters and uh, uh, how the conversion is uh, done and how uh, uh, one can uh, 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 see the advantage, uh, 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 how one can see the advantage and disadvantage of the uh, converters. Now, let us continue our discussion that is A2D converter discussion that we had uh, earlier which we had uh, stopped in the uh, middle to discuss DTA converter because for A2D converter as I said we need, we need DTA converters, uh, converters. Without DTA converters uh, it is not possible to make A2D converters at least uh, you know if you see success approximation uh, uh, A2D and then dual slope A2D converter they definitely need DTA converters. Uh, that is why we have discussed this DTA converters. Now, we will continue our discussion on A2D converters because there are uh, few more uh, uh, A2D converters that is to be discussed. So, uh, uh, A2D converters we will discuss now uh, the issues because earlier we discussed two A2D converters one is a dual slope, dual slope uh, ADC or single slope ADC in the microcontroller environment that also we have discussed. So, generally they are called uh, charge, uh, uh, charge controlled A2D converters or uh, slope A2D converters or the second type of converter is a successive approximation, successive uh, approximation, approximation A2D converters. These two A2D converters we have discussed and some of the applications also we have discussed. Now, let us see the third type of uh, converter that is uh, flash ADC. This is another ADC which is very popular and it is uh, uh, high speed converters because uh, if you look at uh, dual slope A2D converter it is very slow because charging and discharging uh, uh, to take place typically dual slope A2D converter, uh, uh, dual slope A2D converter on, on, uh, uh, dual slope ADC um, only uh, 5 to 10 conversions possible per second, 5 to 10 conversions uh, per second. In uh, success approximation ADC, ADC conversion time can be roughly 10 to uh, 20 microsecond because here you need a sample and hold and that time also to be taken in that. Uh, so, th this is also not very fast, but nevertheless 10 to 20 microsecond is good enough for uh, many applications, but there are applications which demand much higher speed. We want to get in a nanosecond uh, level of conversion time, then success approximation ADC uh, is not the correct choice because success approximation become very slow because it has to go for 8 trials per 8 bit converters and also it has to wait for the uh, semblant hold to acquire the required voltage. This problem is not there in the flash ADC converters. In a flash ADC, what is done is we will have uh, input voltage connected uh, uh, through a uh, series of network of resistors. So, what is normally done is we have for example, uh, 4 bit converters. So, we have 8 resistors connected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have uh, there is actually 7 outputs required 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, uh, this is uh, the top one I can remove, I can connect this. This is uh, V in. Now, uh, it can be done both here. For example, we can have here R by 2, here uh, R I can have to make it avoid the fraction, I can have here R here and 2 R and all races are 2 R. This is not R 2 R network 
and then we will have a 3 r raisins at the top. So, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 registers for 4 bit uh, converters that is uh, uh, we need actually uh, 3 bit converter this is 3 bit converter for 8 registers need that is for 3 bit converter uh, 3 bit converter. That is 2 power 3 that is uh, 8 uh, registers required. So, the input is divided into 8 different parts using these uh, registers, then each one is connected to a comparator. So, you have uh, uh, 7 comparators. So, each one is connected to uh, one input. They all say, for example, minus, and then we have is connected to minus inputs. Then you have a plus input. So, the plus inputs are actually uh, connected to V reference. It can be there is no reason why the other way it cannot be connected, it can be even connected to plus. Uh, uh, okay, actually, we have to have V input connected to V input connected here and this is connected to V reference. So, this is a fixed voltage divided. So, the we have the V input which to be digitized is connected here uh, uh, and then the other voltage is connected to uh, each output. So, the you have now 7 output uh, voltages, 7 uh, output uh, uh, outputs of this comparators. Basically, we have uh, 7 comparators here uh, that actually uh, uh, changes the state according to the input voltage. For example, if the input voltage if the reference is 1 volt and if the input voltage is 0.5 volt, 0.5 volt, you will see that uh, uh, the converters, the bottom converters are all these four are on and the top half are off. So, when the input increases by 1 LSP, uh, uh, so we will have, we will see that when the input increases, then furthermore the uh, 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 next converter also comes on, then further increase in voltage, the next converter comes on and so on depending upon the uh, input voltage, you will have the uh, outputs of this comparators uh, going high and this uh, output must be combined in a big logic uh, circuit to be developed such that you will get the required uh, 3 bit uh, converter out. So, this 8 to uh, 7 to 3 output uh, pin uh, output to be converted and to get a uh, corresponding uh, digital value. Now, essentially what we are doing is we are comparing the uh, voltage to make sure that you know the uh, 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 corresponding output pins are going high in the comparator. Uh, the advantage here is that the conversion time mainly depends upon the response time of the comparators and the conversion time of the logic conversion time. So, the conversion time, conversion time is very small, time is very small. That is, uh, that is a uh, comparator, comparator response time. plus a logic conversion time, logic conversion time. 
which can be uh, uh, less than a microsecond. There are converters which actually does in a 10 nanosecond uh, time and so on. So, the conversion time is very small and you have the uh, converter output uh, very rapidly uh, coming out. Uh, nevertheless, the disadvantage is, uh, so advantage is very uh, conversion time is Uh, less conversion time, conversion time, disadvantage is disadvantage is um, uh, large hardware require large hardware, hardware, particularly uh, uh, two to the power of n. Uh, match resistors, match resistors, then uh, 2 to power in uh, convert uh, comparators, then huge conversion logic, then huge conversion logic. For example, for 8 bit converter, for a 8 bit converter, uh, we need 255 resistors. This is match and uh, accuracy of uh, 0 0.4 percent, then uh, 256 comparators. This is uh, possible, but uh, so 8 bit convert is possible, one can manage uh, 255 resistors and then 256 uh, uh, comparators. Nevertheless, for, for 16 bit converter, for 16 bit converter, we need uh, 2 power 16, that is uh, 64,000 uh, resistors. Then uh, same amount of comparators, then the con huge conversion logic, uh, uh, conversion logic to convert, logic to convert 64,000 to that is 2 power 16 to 2 power 16 to 16 bit output, which is practically uh, uh, impossible. So, there is no 16 bit converter as it is available uh, using the 64000 register type, but nevertheless we have 8 bit converters say type available uh, in flash type. Uh, so, uh, this 8 bit using 8 bit converters uh, one can make 16 bit converters with a small uh, uh, workaround technique because uh, straight away putting 64000 resistor and converting is uh, uh, almost practically impossible, particularly getting 64000 resistors equal resistors and uh, accuracy of uh, uh, accuracy of uh, 0.4 divided by 16 percent that will come. Uh, almost 0 0.001 percent accuracy resistors required and that is almost uh, impossible to achieve. So, uh, plus having comparators of that many uh, numbers and their offset voltage uh, and each one to have accuracy to 2 power 16, if the reference voltage is 1 volt for example, uh, if it is 1 volt uh, for 1 volt reference for 1 volt uh, V 1 volt V reference. 2 power uh, 16 converter, the 16 bit, uh, 16 bit converter will give 16 bit converter, 16 bit uh, converter, converter uh, requires, requires total error of, total error of 1 divided by uh, as 2 power 16 that roughly works out to be 16 uh, micro volt. Uh, this is actually that the 16 micro volt means uh, each resistor 
uh, should be made such that they divide the 1 volt to the accuracy of 16 micro volt and also the error in the uh, comparator should be less than 16 micro volt. Actually, if you take uh, half LSP, then the error in the comparator should be less than uh, 8 micro volt. Uh, so, both of them are very difficult to achieve uh, and this also will be very bulky. So, 16 bit converters are uh, not made using this technique. Nevertheless, they also make a 16 bit converter using two 8 bit uh, 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 flash ADC converter. This is called sub ranging uh, A2D uh, converter. So, that is uh, use uh, two 8 bit flash ADC plus ADC to get one 16 bit flash ADC. Uh, this is called sub ranging ADC, this is called sub ranging sub ranging uh, ADC. Now, uh, this technique uh, is not as costly as um, straight away making uh, 16 bit converter. So, this is cheaper that is why the 16 bit flash ADC is uh, use the sub ranging uh, ADC or they call pipeline uh, ADC. Uh, these ADCs are uh, cheaper and they give 16 bit accuracy at the same time at very high speed. Uh, so, uh, you have 16 bit ATD, ATD flash ATD converter with the conversion time, uh, time of fraction of a microsecond uh, and they maintain the 16 bit uh, accuracy. So, we discuss about the sub ranging uh, flash ADC converters in the next lecture. Thank you.